Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to make a quick tear sheet in GIMP. So I've got this image of me open. This is my headshot. And I'm going to put something like uh, video lessons or something across the, across the image just to show that it's an advertisement. So we're going to select the text tool and it brings up our text tool dialog box. We can choose the font and everything. I found with this image about 200 pixels is a really good size. And we're just going to select black for the color. And so let's start typing. All right. I'm going to select the, the Move tool here and drag this down a little bit. Again, you know, not great color here, but it'll work for our purposes. Next thing we want to do is grab the pencil. And we want this uh, brush hardness to be quite high. So let's say 100 so that it's got a really sharp edge. And uh, the size looks pretty good, maybe a little bit smaller. So we'll hold the uh, open bracket key. Make sure that that text isn't selected. Open bracket key to make that a little bit smaller for us. So we're going to click over here and hold down the shift key and the control key. And the shift key is going to make this line for us. The control key will snap it so it's exactly horizontal. And we'll do that. And we'll, we'll uh, duplicate that procedure going vertical, kind of making our little tear slots here. And it's a, it's a good idea to do this on a separate layer just so that you're not messing with your base image. I'm keeping it this way though just because it's a little bit quicker. So let's complete maybe, uh, maybe two more tears. And now we're going to select our text again and we'll, we'll type in here, uh, take one. All right, so move this down. And what we want to do is we want to rotate it and scale it so it'll fit into one of those little boxes. So we'll click on our rotate tool, and begin spinning it. And again, we can hold the control key to snap this so it becomes exactly vertical. I'll probably uh, spin it the other way though. Rotate, and back to our move tool. Let's kind of get this position. As you can see, GIMP really isn't set up for doing uh, something like this but it'll, it'll work if you, if you encourage it to a little bit. I hope you've enjoyed this short video. I'm Josiah Ray.